be ready 5 seconds start sir during this debate it was interesting and educative to listen to our constitutional experts i must say that it seems to me that the question at issue is not merely a legal or a constitutional one the constitutional amendments which we have introduced contain and reflect the urges of our people for some time there has been a deliberate inflation of fears which to me seem to be unreal a controversy has been generated as regards the supremacy of parliament against the supremacy of the constitution as if these two were distinct concepts mutually exclusive and even perhaps opposite those who describe the issue in this manner conveniently forget that our constitution was drafted on the fundamental assumption that our people have firm faith in the principles of democracy this faith in our people reflects in our constitution several honorable members have spoken of the confrontation between parliament and the judiciary there need not be a confrontation and i think that to create an atmosphere of confrontation does not do us much good i do not think that there is any real confrontation either because each institution has its assigned place and role we all know that there has been no third chamber and that no constitution can be frozen into a static position what do we see when we look at the world around us it would not take us long to discover that many an institution has collapsed many a constitution has been scrapped because it ceased to be an effective instrument for orderly change that our constitution and our democratic institutions have survived when all around us there is a climate of tension and violence is a tribute to the faith of our people in democratic ideals and also to the flexibility and responsiveness of our constitution and our political institutions to the urges of our people while introducing this bill my colleague spoke of the arguments of those who opposed this bill as being based on fear and nervousness i should like to dispel that fear and nervousness in the minds of our minorities in so far as their rights are concerned i believe that protection to them can be guaranteed only by this parliament mere constitutional devices cannot give guarantee history is full of examples of constitutions being overthrown or frustrated therefore a wider and deeper democracy is a more durable guarantee of the rights of our minorities my endeavor has not been to defeat parties but to educate the public and strengthen the people so that they themselves will not permit any curtailment of their rights the protection of the rights of the minorities can be ensured only when the majority itself is convinced that its well being and progress is linked with an sense of security amongst the minority communities in the ultimate analysis it is only a sensitive and strong public opinion which can give real protection to the minorities 
द मेजर प्रेमाइज ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी इज द विल ऑफ द पीपल एज एक्सप्रेस थ्रू पार्लियामेंट एज माई ऑनरेबल फ्रेंड सेड इन हिज एक्सीलेंट स्पीच इफ आवर डेमोक्रेसी हैड गॉन वायलेंट एंड हैड बिकम एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ ऑपरेशन इट वुड हैव फेल्ड एंड समथिंग एल्स वुड हैव टेकन इट्स प्लेस इफ सच अनारकी वर टू टेक प्लेस इन आवर कंट्री होल्डिंग द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अगेंस्ट द फ्लड वॉटर्स ऑफ राइट रिएक्शन और ऑफ वायलेंट रेवोल्यूशन वुड नॉट डाइवर्ट द टाइड देर इज एन अनएंडिंग अटैम्प्ट बाय वेस्टेड इंटरेस्ट टू डिवाइड द पीपल एंड टू मिसलीड द माइनॉरिटीज आई एम कॉन्फिडेंट दैट आवर पीपल आर कमिटेड टू डेमोक्रेसी दे अंडरस्टैंड एंड रिस्पॉन्ड टू द नीड फॉर ए सेक्युलर अप्रोच द नीड फॉर चेंज विद इन ए डेमोक्रेटिक फ्रेमवर्क एंड द नीड टू प्रिवेंट नैरो वेस्टेड इंटरेस्ट फ्रॉम ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ चेंजिस we all know that change is a fact of life whether we like it or not we all know that the clever arguments cannot bind us to the past if you look at the circumstances of life as it is in india i see no reason in a denial of radical change whatever is made rigid ceases to be living and organic and many becomes less and less reflective of the needs of a vital and dynamic people so what are the choices before us can we adhere to the status quo there is a crisis in the social order not only in india but in every country of the world and the choice in every country is whether changes can come about peacefully or whether they must be driven to violent means i heard several members from the opposition saying that i was twisting the meaning i think all those who have read newspapers in the past few months and all those who have followed the election campaigns know where the twisting has taken place how everything we have said has been twisted and misconstrued we believe in the commitment and we shall continue to believe in it i think in today's world this is a word which has great significance for the future